Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're on. So, uh, is this, now is this the DC library people are going to see this? I hope. DC library people DC. will see this and it, I'm sure they'll be inspired. Well, solidarity to, with my friends in the DC library. My friends in libraries everywhere. So you were um, at a hearing this week? So we, this week, this past week we filed Fire. our lawsuit um, in court with our attorney Norman Siegel. Um, former head of the uh, ACLU, the NYCLU, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's a federal lawsuit that we filed against the city of New York for destroying the library on November 14th, 15th, middle of the night. Um, we're suing for, uh, I believe it's 40, 43 or 47 thousand dollars, which is the total of uh, the damages in uh, lost books, the computers that were smashed that were on site, all of the shelving, um, the giant tent that was a gift from Patty Smith, all of that. Um, and then $1,000 in punitive damages, which, um, as I said, was, uh, we were told, we, we had a big conversation with our, with our lawyer about that, and he told us that usually when you're suing for punitive damages, it's like $100,000. And in this case, the punitive damages would be paid by the sanitation workers. And we don't want to rob sanitation workers of um, their meager paychecks. And we're not, you know, this isn't a revenge case. That's not what it's about. It's not a get rich case. We're not all trying to retire on, you know, the destruction of the library. So we're going to sue, the punitive damages are $1,000. And it's really just a symbolic way of saying what was done was wrong. And we would like that to be acknowledged. Oh, this is my dog, Jasper, by the way. Hi, Jasper. Hi, Jasper. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, We're in Bryant right. Park. Um, and we don't know when the next, when it will come to hearing or when they will settle. We do not know. Um, it's, uh, you know, the city has paperwork now. Everything's been filed as far as I know. So now it's a, it's a conversation that goes back and forth between lawyers where they talk about settlement options and these kinds of things. And, um, yeah, I mean, basically what was done, I think, was a crime. I think it needs to be acknowledged. I mean, you know. I think universally people agree that that was wrong. It was wrong. And, you know, I'll read things online about it where people are like, oh, it was just a stack of uh, dirty paperback books and that kind of stuff. And people just don't know what they're talking about when they say that. Because, I mean, you know, we had shelves and shelves. We had 5,000 books on site. We had shelves and shelves of brand new hardcover books donated that week by publishers and authors. Um, we had Mayor Bloomberg's book on our really? shelves. Free to the public. Uh, yeah, we took everything. We took Glenn Beck books. We took Bill O'Reilly books. Um, you know, we, we were not discriminatory. Um, you know, we would take that and we would shelve it right along with Howard Zinn. So, all of that information was, was thrown into, into dumpsters. Uh, like, like we are a disposable society, and we're not a disposable society. And I think, you know, knowledge is power, and the, the destruction of that knowledge is a crime. And if the law can work for Wall Street, it should be able Listen, to work for people like us. You know, one would like to think, but uh, <laughs> you know, if we're if we're really into locking up criminals, <laughs> let's start with corporate criminals. There we How go. About that, but you and know, political criminals. Yeah. How about that? Uh, you know, let's uh, send Dick Cheney to the Hague. You know, hey, great idea. Look at that. <laughs> you know, but um, we all know that's not the way it works in, in this society, and that's why we're all out here. Because you know, the law should be for everyone. It shouldn't just apply to the chosen few. This is supposed to be a democracy, not an oligarchy. And um, it would be really wonderful if we operated that way. Wow. One last thing. Yes. If you say one thing to encourage people to come up for Black Monday, what would it oh, be? Oh, gosh. Come to New York for Black Monday. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be, uh, you know, we've been here a year. And uh, they destroyed our park. They've arrested and beaten our people. They have torn down our, our tents and destroyed our belongings, thrown our books in the garbage. But our spirit is still here. We're still strong. We're still marching. We're still raising our voices. We're still educating people, making people aware of the crimes that are being committed against them every day in the name of uh, nothing. And so, uh, 
Black Monday is where we're going to celebrate that. We're going to bring it all back full force. Year two is going to be bigger than year one. So, yes, it. come to New York. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Where is it?